Baseball News Club, Monday, September 14th, and we're going to go over the wild card standings. First off, we're going to start off with the top five teams now Minnesota, Toronto, New York, Cleveland, and Houston. They're the same as last week. They've just been rotating positions, but the top five spots have not changed since last week. Now, what's frustrating is the teams that are on the bubble who are just kind of hanging out. That's Mariners, Orioles, and Tigers. They're five and six games out. They're just kind of hanging around, meandering, not really making big moves to win it. And Angels, Royals, Rangers, and Red Sox, you're done. Uh, unless you get really hot and close the gap between you and like Houston, I don't think it's going to happen. But what's frustrating is the Mariners, Orioles, and Tigers. Mariners only won three games. Orioles only won one game from last week. And Detroit only won two games. So it's frustrating. These are teams you need to make moves. You need to make it happen, and they're not. And Cleveland fell. Uh, Cleveland fell big time. They only won one game the entire week, and they're falling down the standings. So this week, keep an eye on that. Uh, Minnesota's still strong. Toronto uh, Houston Astros, they only won two games. So again, they're just like trying to give it away to the Orioles and the Mariners and Tigers, but it's just frustrating. Somebody make a choice and decide if you want to go to the damn playoffs. And Yankees had a great week, made them a lot stronger than what they were last week, put them in a good spot to make wild card. All right, let's move on over to the National League. Now what's interesting about National League of the top five teams last week for the five return, uh, Rockies fell out and Miami took the spot and is now in the top five and then the Mets Brewers and Reds uh, you know again frustrating me just teams just hanging out not really making a choice that they want to make a run Diamondbacks Nationals and Pirates are donezo uh, unless you go on a gigantic run and close the gap between you and um, you know and the Giants or whoever's in the fifth spot but you know making up five games right now is going to be impossible now what's frustrating is the Reds only won three games I really I'm really pulling for the Reds. I really think they got a special team, but they just keep hanging around. They're not really trying to show that they really want the playoffs. Uh, the Brewers only won two games. Uh, the Mets only won two games. So these are three teams that are just like, you guys are right there on the edge. You've got to make a move. you got to do it now. And then the Padres have won like, what, seven in a row. Uh, Philadelphia, they won four games, and they're still kind of chipping away at the Rock. St. Louis uh, only won three games so again they're just kind of hanging out there and then the Rockies only won one game so they fell out of the top five and that's how come Miami jumped into it because Miami won six so you know just some frustrating things going on but there's some fabulous matchups this week and we should have a different pitcher by next weekend if things work out uh, you might see a surprise team you might see the Mets finally crack the top five but I mean it's getting down to the wire we only got about two weeks left so Hopefully these teams start making some moves and start showing they really want to go to the playoffs. Let's look at the schedules because this is where it's going to come down to. Starting today, there's a very important uh, schedule going on for Cincinnati. They've got Pittsburgh. I mean, this is an opportunity, huge opportunity for Cincinnati to make up some ground. Philadelphia, Miami, fantastic series. Same thing with St. Louis and Milwaukee. These are teams that need wins. And then um, you got a great division rival set up with Minnesota and Chicago. And again, there's St. Louis and Milwaukee again, doubleheader. And then the game of the day, Dodgers at San Diego. San Diego's absolutely on fire. So who's the top team in the division? San Diego's trying to take the division. So let's move ahead to Tuesday. This gets very interesting again. Miami's playing Boston, so advantage Miami. That's, you know, going to be tough for the National League because Miami's getting that opportunity. Cincinnati, I'm telling you, this is Cincinnati's opportunity right now to make a run. Um... And another fabulous matchup, New York and Toronto, both teams absolutely need wins. Same with the Mets and Philadelphia, absolutely need wins. And then the Baltimore, uh, Detroit, Detroit's got to face a hot team in Kansas City and Baltimore, you know, this can make or break Baltimore this week. Uh, and then Texas, are they going to play spoilers and knock Houston out of the playoff contention? And Cleveland, you know, they're having a tough time and they got to play Chicago. So tough for them again, San Diego and L.A. So we're going to see. This is going to be a great week in baseball. So tune in and watch some ball.